romantic and mystical Prague, Kutna Hora with an interesting and creepy church, Karlovy Vary, famous for its hot springs, and the perfect medieval town, Chesky Krumlov. Wouldn't you like to visit this magnificent country for just $250? Take your copy and enjoy the video. After dissolution of Czechoslovakia, the country which took the name of the Czech Republic changed its short name and became the Czechia in 2016. Throughout history, it has seen many wars due to its location, and the country finally got peace with the Velvet Revolution in November 1989. It borders Germany and Poland in the north, Slovakia and Austria in the south. The population of the country is over 10 million, and 90% of the population is the Czechs, and 5% are the Moravian. Other minor groups are the Slovaks and Romani. The country you see churches at every step is interestingly the most non-religious country in Europe. 40% of the people define themselves as atheists. The official language of the country is Czech. The official currency is the Czech Koruna. The climate of the Czechia can be described as typical European continental, influenced climate with warm, dry summers and fairly cold winters. January is the coldest month with daytime temperatures usually around zero. July is the hottest month countrywide. In summer, the weather is over 20 degrees in Prague and Kutna Hora, while in Chesky Krumlov and Karlovy Vary, it is between 15 and 20 degrees. If you have just planned a trip that deals with the Czechia, you need to add Kutna Hora, Karlovy Vary, Chesky Krumlov, as well as Prague to your route. Karlovy is close to the German border. You can also stop by when you visit the Romantic Road in Germany. If you want to go there from Prague by train, you'll be very tired because there isn't any direct train. Your preference should be bus. You can go to Karlovy by bus from UAN Florence in two hours. Kutna is very close to Prague. Since there is no direct bus from the center, you can reach the town for 100 Karuna by train in one hour. Trains depart from the central station and are available hourly. Chesky Kromlov is close to the Australian border. There's a train to Chesky Budijovice, which is only a half hour to Kromlov, so the train choice is useless. You can reach the town with just $4 by bus. You can also discover the Czechia by renting a car. It is enough to rent a car for three days when you are outside Prague. Cost of three-day rent-a-car with full coverage rental car insurance is $150. Your journey will be between 1,000 and 1,300 kilometers. Your oil expense will be $65. The main means of transportation in Prague is the metro, bus, and tram. A 90-minute ticket is 32 karuna. One-day unlimited tickets are 110 karuna. Chesky Kromlov is a very tiny town with only 13,000 inhabitants. Therefore, you can go anywhere by walking or by bike. Bicycle rental fee is approximately $15 per day. The best way to experience the city in Karlovy Vary is to walk. However, if you are a little tired, bus services are quite common. As Kutna Hora is a small town, you can easily discover it on foot. However, the Sedlak Church is a bit far from the old city. You can cross to main train station from the old town in three ways. To use the city bus for 12 karuna, the tourist bus for 35 karuna, and the train line between Mesto and the main station for 18 karuna. Prague is the heart of the Czechia in every sense, economic, political, tourism. You can get information about the city from the Prague video that we introduced the center of the city, consisting of regions such as Stravo Mesto, Tragkini, and Malostrana. Chesky Kromlov, 
This charming and gothic medieval town built on the shore of the Vlatala River in the 13th century is the second most touristic stop in the country. The town, which owes its beauty to the fact that it has not seen war for more than 500 years, has been protected by UNESCO. The castle of the city is the second biggest castle in the country after the Prague Castle. You can take perfect panoramic photos from this castle, which is definitely visited by everyone who comes to the city. For a detailed guided in-castle tour, you need to pay a 18210 karuna. The 11,000 hectare park was established in the 7th century. In fact, it is the largest part of the entire castle complex. It is situated on the rise and slope adjacent to the complex of castle buildings around the fourth courtyard of Chesky Krumlov Castle. When Carl IV, the king of the period, sees a deer falling into water while hunting, he discovers that the region has thermal waters. After the discovery, the region begins to urbanize. The city means the king's bathroom in English. The town has 13 healing fountains. You can drink medicinal water free from the fountains located here. If you want to see this magnificent city from above, you can go to Diana Lookout Tower. You can go here by funicular. There is also a glass museum in the city where you can get information about the glass history of the city. The entrance fee is 80 karuna, and glassworks are 120 karuna. Kutnohora was one of the most important cities of Bohemia between 13th and 16th centuries. The city, which has realized one-third of the silver production of Europe since the 13th century, has been discredited with the depletion of the silver mine in the 16th century. There are three important buildings in the city. You can buy a combined ticket to enter these three buildings. It is only 220 corona. The most famous structure in town is undoubtedly the Sedlak Church. Heinrich, who returned from Jerusalem with Holy Land in the 12th century, it announces that the church is a sacred place, so the locals line up for the burial place in the church. All the skeletons inside the church are original human bones, and there are exactly 40,000 human skeletons. There are frescoes that emphasize mining and mining activities on the walls of the church, which is used as the set of the movie Les Miserables. The entrance fee of the cathedral is 120 karuna. The Cathedral of Assumption. The cathedral with paintings made of various bones, chandeliers, welcome writings is very close to the Sedlak Church. Czechia isn't very cheap country in terms of restaurant prices. However, it can be said that it has reasonable prices compared to Europe. Although the prices vary from city to city, a meal in the cheap restaurant is on average 120 karuna. You can find the famous Czech goulash in every kind of restaurant in every city. Hotel prices change seasonally in Czechia. While it has the highest prices in summer, it has the lowest prices in freezing temperatures. You can arrange your trip four nights in Prague, one night Karlovy Vary, and one night in Chesky Krumlov accommodation. As Kutnohor is very close to Prague, you don't need to stay in there. In the summer months, price of beds in the hostels that get 8 points out of 10 points for their customers. At an average of $20 in Prague and Chesky Kromlov. In winter, the same hostels are $15. In three-star budget hotels with a minimum of eight points from customers, the price of a double room is $70 in Prague, $80 in Chesky, and $50 in Karlovy Vary.
cost of a six-day trip in Bohemia will be $250 to $350 for one low-budget traveler. The only factor that will change the cost of a mid-budget couple is whether they rent a car and enter city transportation. If the car is rented, the total cost will increase $200 and will be to $900 to $1,200. These costs include additional costs such as theater and classical music in Prague and rafting in Chesky Kromlov. If mid-budget couples consider to visit Czechia in winter, their total cost will decrease $100. Thank you for watching us. Every week we try to calculate the travel costs about cities and countries and share them with you. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned!